What's happening guys? Mikey from Amber Fitness again. Alrighty, so today I want to talk to you guys uh, when I've got my voice back. So look, I'm back. Um, I want to talk to you guys about focus, how to get extreme focus. Um, and it doesn't come easy, which is why a lot of people uh, struggle with this area. I mean, focus is going to increase a lot of areas in your life. If you're able to focus, uh, not only put stuff into action, but you're going to increase productivity and just overall happiness uh, because you'll be able, you're going to be able to get stuff done. All right, and there's a difference between being busy and being productive. I'm sure you can agree and I'm sure you can resonate with that. Uh, I mean, if you're, let's say, you've got an office job and you're just floating around the office or you're just checking emails all day, uh, it's quite different to whether or not you got a project finished or not. Sure, you're busy, but can you strategize your day any better uh, to pretty much optimize what you're actually doing. All right, so to increase focus, uh, it's gonna come down to your ability to actually narrow in and isolate yourself into the one subject or whatever you're working on. Now that is the key word, isolate. Okay, that's literally gonna come down to uh, a few things actually. <clears throat> so whether or not you're a uh, a browser of sorts, an internet browser, so I'm definitely a culprit. I'll uh, find myself uh, with about 15 tabs open on my internet uh, browser. Now that is ridiculously bad because it takes one notification to pop up on your, let's say news feed or whatever on your Facebook. It shows up on that little one and your brain's like, oh yeah, but I've got to get to that as you're trying to work out on a blog or trying to work on some designs or whatever it is you're working on even if you have to get down to a dozen emails and your Facebook goes off next thing you know you're actually checking your Facebook not getting back to your emails whatever it may be so my tip for you guys is isolation um, and even uh, batching themes now it's a themed work so if you've got quite a few things to do so for instance, I'm not very isolating at the moment. Um, this is going to come down to uh, not only focus, but if you want to learn something as well, it's actually crucial to be able to isolate uh, whatever you're trying to learn. But actually focusing, if you're doing like an essay or writing something, trying to finish a design, whatever it may be, whatever it is in your industry or your uh, line of work, it is about isolation. And what that's going to do is actually build up some certain chemicals in your brain uh, that actually fire off certain uh, motor neurons in your brain uh, to help you literally narrow down on that one specific task. Okay, if uh, let's say you're let's say you're you're a writer. Okay, every time that you get to write at the desk and you've got a dozen things open on the browser, your brain cannot actually focus on that line of motor neurons to focus on writing. Okay, so they're, they're kind of like, think about it as little individual muscles, all right? The more you isolate that one muscle, the stronger you're going to be able to make it. So if you pretty much get rid of everything else on the browser or whatever it may be, and literally just focus on that one thing, all right, that, let's say, called muscle, your little writer muscle is going to increase your focus and your ability to focus on that one thing. Your productivity is going to increase so much more so many different muscles just like working on your muscles in the gym just like willpower just like everything else you need to work on it consistently focus isolation get it done all right i'll see you guys in the next video